Robbie, good to be back. It's great. Uh, it's been a couple years, um, and it's been in the works for for a few weeks now. But uh, to finally get it done and to be here, uh, it's a good feeling. I know you talked in one of your interviews on the radio about all the parts that were played in your decision to coming back here. The familiarity with coming back to this system. How big was that? Uh, played a big role. Um, I mean, being able to come back to a place where I'm comfortable, and uh, I know a lot of the guys, I know the coaching staff, and stuff like that. Um, made it that much easier, and uh, being the fans here and all that, it's just a good situation to be in, really, um, and that's why I made the decision. How did, how did that come down, and was it automatic that it was coming back to Real Salt Lake when you decided to come back? Uh, no, so I mean, some stuff had to be done, um, and uh, from what I know, the coaching staff and the people who served did a lot of work to, to make it happen, so I'm glad that that worked out right, and I um, was able to get it done. So, Robbie, you know, your time in England made not all what, what you thought it would be, but uh, what are some positives you can take out of that time you spent overseas? Um, I mean, learned a lot. I mean, I had a few different managers, uh, which probably wasn't the best. But, uh, learned a lot, uh, met a lot of guys. Uh, and, uh, it was just a, it was a good experience. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Do you have something to prove this season coming back? I always, I always got something to prove, you know what I mean? Uh, it's been a while. I've got to, I've got to win a spot, you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't solidified anything here, so. Uh, where do you feel like you are as a player now as opposed to when you left Real Real so like a couple years ago? So like I said, just being over in England, I'm going to learn, learn a few things, um, uh, sharpen up a little bit. Uh, so, I mean, all those things have uh, gotten me to where I'm now and uh, feel confident, and consistent. And that's what I We've got some new faces here, but also some familiar faces that help coming into situations where you do have some guys you know? Yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier when you know somebody here. Um, but, I mean, just got to incorporate all the, all the new guys and um, get together as fast as we can and mesh and then uh, get them started preseason and then go into the season. Robbie, what kind of goals do you set or, or what kind of measuring stick do you use to say this is what's successful and anything less than that is unsuccessful? Uh, well, I mean, I think we've got, I mean, we've got to win the cup. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the main goal. Um, and everybody knows that. We know what we have to do to, to get that job done. And um, we just have to take it day at a time, though, uh, not to look too far in the, in the future. And um, things should be all right. How tough is that, that said, to take it a day at a time when you look on paper and say, hey, this is a cup winning team? Yeah, it's very hard. Because, um, I mean, you find yourself doing that. You look forward to other games. All right, we need to win this. We need to improve what happens when we do that. Um, but um, just like I said, I mean, you've got to be patient, take it a day at a time. and. Just when the game comes, be with it. just deal with it. You know, and get the result you need, and move on to the next one. How much are you looking forward to a potential matchup with a guy like Sabarillo, who just had a career year? Um, I've always said Sabo's been a good player, a uh, good finisher. He's got some pace, a good hold-up man, uh, kind of big man, little man, uh, ten and bump. So um, we need to get our chemistry going, and hopefully, good things can happen. The super fan there is uh, offensive midfielder or striker. Do I prefer? Yeah. Uh, striker. Javi talked about you know, having you here before and having 15 assists, and so he's basically he means you need to score 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll do my best. Um, definitely when you got guys like Javi in the midfield and the guys that compete as well, uh, uh, you got to finish the job off. So uh, I'll definitely do my best. You always was a uh, fast uh, player. Um, you know, how was your speed now? <laughs> I'm getting older, but uh, no, I mean, I feel good. Uh, I don't feel like I've lost a step or anything. Uh, and I mean, it's one of my strengths, so I've got to stick to it. Are you hopeful of reestablishing yourself in maybe the national team like situation? Yeah, definitely. And I mean, that comes down to playing games and, and scoring goals, really. And I think that's where it killed me over in England. I wasn't playing consistently. Um, scored a few goals, but uh, not on a regular basis. So. Um, if I can get the games in and, and start scoring, we're successful, then I think all that will fall into place. What's it, what's it like just kind of living abroad and that away from the game? Is that a hard thing to do for an American player? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think it was too bad. I mean, the guys there made me feel welcome. Uh, and it wasn't a hard transition for me. It was, it was fun. I mean, the game, training, and all that stuff was, was good. Had a good time. Met a lot of nice people, too. So. Um, for me, it wasn't that bad. I had family over there at some point, so it was all right.
Rabbit, coming back to Rio Tinto, did you feel like the new guy when you stepped through the doors, or did you feel like you never left? Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I never left, really. I don't know. Um, I've always felt welcome here, uh, and everybody's treated me well here, so um, it's definitely good to be back, and I'm excited. Robbie, you had a pretty good relationship with the fans of Nottingham Forest on Twitter and other social media. You've always been pretty good with the fans here. How important is it understanding the fan base here and how much energy they bring coming back, and, and how's that going to help you uh, transition? I, mean, I think the fans play a big, big part in uh, team success. You know what I, mean? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, you guys come out and, and pay for tickets and, and come support us, so um, we look at it as I mean, we got to go out there and, and work hard and do what we have to do to um, make sure you guys enjoy yourselves and, uh, and get the job done, you know what I mean? Uh, so, uh, I mean, it's very important for us. It, it gets us going when, when we have a good crowd, and um, that all plays into to being successful too, I think. Do you have any opportunities to maybe educate some of your teammates over there about MLS? And what yeah, they're, they're big on it. They, they watch it. Um, I mean, they have a few games on TV over there too, and a lot of them would like to come over and play. It's definitely, it's definitely going in the right direction for sure. You going to be recruiting any of those guys? Not if they're in the same position, but I'll <laughs> <laughs>